How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to be taking a look through PDC players that are in danger of losing their tour card. Now to lose your tour card you've got to be outside of the PDC's top 64 at the end of a two year cycle. If you are able to be in that top 64 you get a one year extension. If you are a bit unfamiliar with this and this is all quite new to you please do go check out a video I've done. Edgar TV, Darts Rankings Explained, and it'll explain everything you need to know regarding that. Today we're going to look at the players that are in serious danger of doing so, and a couple of people that just need to keep performing at the back end of this year. We have now gone past the World Match Play, the second biggest ranking event on the PDC calendar, and we're now starting to move into the back end of the year where all those big ranking events are, and it's vital that players get into those, certainly the World Championship to give yourself an opportunity. Darius Labanowskis, somebody who reached the World Championship quarterfinal a couple of years ago, is in big danger at the moment of losing his tour card. And to be honest with you, I'm not too surprised because I'm not on the tour at the moment and he used to make a lot of money out of bashing me up, certainly at the World Championships. Twice he beat me there and a couple of times on the floor as well. But Florian Hempel, the 33-year-old German, ex-handball goalkeeper actually only started playing darts in 2017 he quit his job in 2018 and burst onto the scene in 2021 beating peter wright at the european championships 2022 third round of the world championships where he caused an upset victory over dimitri vandenberg 98.37 there and then also qualified last year for the world championships as well through the german qualifier losing out in the second round 3-2 to luke humphreys the floor form hasn't quite been there for Hempel, and despite big early promises, it's not quite working out for him at the moment. Jeff Smith in good form at the moment. He recently won the PDC American Championships, but due to a rule change, is not allowed to take that spot in the World Championship. He's going to have to go through the order of merit. Now, at the moment, he's quite a bit off of it, but the 47-year-old, a runner-up of the BDO World Championship, back in 2016, has been holding on to that card now since 2020, a second time on the tour for him. And I think he's got a good opportunity, certainly if he had to go into those qualifiers. Devin Peterson was in the top 32 not long ago. He won a European tour in 2020, and that was at a moment where we thought, this is now going to be... Devon Peterson's coming. He reached the top 32. He's in the elite of the game. He reached a semi-final of the European Championships, a event that was a televised event back in 2020. That, again, a moment we'd have looked at and said, Devon Peterson is now going to establish himself regularly within the top 32. He's been around the game for many years. But at the moment, he's looking like he's going to drop down to around about the world number 100 mark, a long way off the top 64. This isn't just a case of Deborah Peterson has to navigate himself into the World Championship, but he's going to have to navigate himself a place in the World Championship and at least make the third round, quite possibly even further, if he is going to retain that card. Former world champion Richie Burnett is someone who potentially could really benefit actually from losing his tour card. We saw he could still hang with the best of them qualifying for the world championship this year, but also a big win over Peter Wright and a run to the quarter final of the UK Open. Put him in the seniors, the super series. We could start seeing Richie Burnett winning things once again. Steve Lennon. Man who reached the top 32 in the PDC rankings back in 2019, qualifying for the World Match Play, the World Grand Prix, was even a contender in 2019 for the Premier League. He qualified for his card back in 2017. Six years he's been able to defend and hold on to that card, which I think is quite commendable. It's one thing to win a tour card, but then to go and defend it for that length of time, very good to Steve Lennon. That is because he's qualified for the World Championship on five occasions, last year being the only one in which he wasn't able to qualify for. And if he doesn't get into this one, he's going to be in trouble. Currently, he's inside one of those World Championship positions, but may need a win as well just to confirm his position on the tour for another season. Other players that may find themselves in a spot of bother currently just hanging into those positions. I mean, Danny Jansen, you expect to see him get swamped when the World Championship money comes on. 
currently just earned £2,250 on the Pro Tours this year. That's not going to cut it, keeping in that top 64 position. Marion van den Bogode is very, very close at the moment to keeping hold of that card. Currently 11th of the 32 players that will get into the World Championship. So in a very, very good position for that. May need a win. We'll see in regards to that. Cameron Menzies, you'd like to think he can get to the World Championship with the ability he's got. However, currently 51st out of 32 positions. He's going to have to go some. I think he's going to have to make the Worlds to keep hold of that tour card position. Same for Richie Edhouse, currently 53rd out of 32. We've seen him recently in the Grand Slam of Darts qualifying for that and the World Championship. You've got to think he'd be one of the fancied runners if he does have to go to that PDPA qualifier last chance opportunity. Nathan Rafferty, currently 67th out of the 32 players that will make the World Championship, so a long way off that cutoff. And I've put Ian White on here because he's someone we've discussed quite a bit this year as someone who needed a big year, but he's doing it. He's getting that big year and he's looking very solid for these majors at the back end of the year. The Players' Championship Finals, the World Championship. And I think he's going to get in them. Not only keep his card, but if he keeps this form going, we'll see him start to go back up the rankings next year. Because I can see him now starting to get into that sort of mode of Players' Championship, World Championship as a minimum. I think we'll see him sort of sit around sort of the, the Steve Beaton sort of area for the next sort of four to five years at least. I certainly don't see him losing that card. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. On your way down there, don't forget to hit that like and I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.